Hi everyone, I'm Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I have a Dollarama haul to share with you. I apologize for not being on camera, but if you saw my previous haul from uh, Dollar Tree, I am under the weather and my face is all puffy and all, you know, gorgeous. So I, could, <laughs> I don't want to appear on camera and break the camera. So I went to Dollarama and Dollar Tree yesterday and I'm showing you what I got. So stay tuned if you want to see more. So let's start with some yummy items. I picked up some uh, boxes of the Betty Crocker cake mixes and I think these are a pretty good deal. You get these for $1.50 at Dollarama. I got one of the Devil's Food chocolate and one of the Rainbow Bits. As well as I also picked up the uh, Betty Crocker icings and I can't remember, I think these are $2 a piece. I can't remember how much they are, but I, I believe they were $2. I got these little bags of M&Ms. The small bags are 82 cents, and I thought these would be good for us to bring with us to uh, the movies. We might be going to see uh, a movie this weekend, probably the Star Wars movie. And a, another a repurchase are these chocolate bars. These are like, I think a knockoff brand from um, some other brand named chocolate bars and they're made just for Dollarama. So they are sold for two, two for a dollar. And they're really yummy. So my family uh, enjoys munching on those. I got them a package of the Vortman assorted festive cookies. Uh, those are $2. Uh, my Dollarama had some more of the pyramid bars, and as you may uh, know already if you've seen my other videos, these I find so delicious. And of course, I couldn't resist. I already had one of those yesterday. And you get five bars in here of this yummy chocolate covered hazelnut cream wafer for $1.50. And I want to apologize if you notice in my last video has been shaky. Uh, I am shaky a little still today because I have this cold and not feeling that great. So uh, this is new to me. Maybe you've seen it, but I had not. Um, the Senor Batonio crackers. Uh, you get this bag of 350 grams of crackers that are shaped. I'm going to get close here like tiny baguettes like little bread baguettes and these are a dollar so i thought wow that's a pretty good deal for crackers and these are very small crackers they're great for dipping uh they're great for uh, putting in soups i guess and but i haven't tried them yet they also have them in different flavors but i just took these uh original plain ones I hope that these will be yummy, and if not, like I said, they'll be nicely crumbled up into soups and whatnot. I got a bottle of spa soap, uh, the refill. At this time of year, we seem to go through a lot more hand soap, you know, people coming and going. So I just thought I would have this on hand to fill up uh, any of the little bottles in our bathrooms. I was out of the Swiffer dusters, and this is the only kind that I could find a Dollarama and I just was not feeling up to going to another store to look for something else. So I picked up these uh, Staticmatic dusters and you get uh, a handle and two disposable dusters in here for $1.25. My Dollarama finally had the bags of artificial snow. I wanted the kind that was loose for uh, adding to some decorations. And these bags are $1.50 for 1.48 ounces or 42 grams. Although I have not been able to do any Christmas decorating in our home. We have not put up any trees. We have not done anything so far. It's just been... Uh, quite chaotic around here so uh, we will put up a tree but we might keep it just to the tree this year but anyway I got my snow for my intended Christmas decorating 
Now this, uh, I actually saw this before, but I never bothered to look at it more closely or pick it up. But I did yesterday and I thought, oh my, maybe this is a good, good deal. I guess for $4 you get this whole kit of a 3D DIY corrugated village puzzle. So basically it is chipboard or cardboard and it is pre-cut and the instructions are there to assemble your own little buildings. So you can see that there are five, there are four buildings. There's like a water tower, a bridge, a tree, and some lamp posts. So you can build your very own little village. Now I thought, aside from, uh, you know, the Christmas village, you could use this for a child's uh, school project if they have to build a little town or village or your plan I, I my kids and I would build little villages to use with their little cars and we would use boxes and I would make little houses and all sorts of things like that uh, and this is pre-cut so this I think you could decorate this of course for the holidays for the Christmas holidays but also for any other seasonal holiday or just because you feel like making so crafts so if you are fortunate enough to have a Cricut machine that will uh, cut these for you, these 3D puzzle, these 3D types of things that you can assemble, uh, this is your next best bet because this is only $4. Everything is measured and pre-cut for you. So I think that's, that's worth looking into. I was happy to see that they finally got some of the little white birch trees with the glitter for the uh, villages and fairy gardens and such. So I got some of those and those are $1.50 each and I got a little set of the battery operated um, street lights for the village. I already have a set from previous years and I just wanted to get another one so uh, this is $2. And I don't know why this was the only one at my store but here's a package of look it looks like strawberries um they're like little glass beaded strawberries and there's 24 in here for two dollars and i'm not too sure what the deal is with them being for christmas but anyway i picked them up because i i'm just crafty and i'm sure i'll find a use for them eventually down the road most likely next year uh, these are also new at my Dollarama, the craft paper bags. There are six in here, but they are very, like, thick. They're not thin paper. They're, like, really kind of thick. They're very pretty little bags with a little round handle. And they have them in all sorts of different colors. I got some pink ones, blue and green. Um, they measure seven by four by two inches uh, six in here as i've mentioned before and you pay two dollars for these last week i hauled some of these uh, studio stackable stationary holders at two dollars and fifty cents a piece i went back yesterday and i got more because i think these are really really good buy a new item at my store or these uh, stackable plastico dry food containers that come with a scoop. So, so they are BPA free. This is what they look like put together. And uh, you can get 0.7 gallons or 3.5 liters of food or whatever into these bins. They are $2.50 a piece. They come with the little scoop. And my store had them in white, a white cover. All the bottom parts, all of them are clear, but you can get some with white. I also saw them in a green similar to this and a royal blue. Um, there may be other colors, but that's what was at my store. Now, um, now that I've looked at it, I'm not sure I would like to use these for my foods in my pantry. Because you can see there's like a little gap here where the hinge is and I'm just concerned about insects getting in there. 
and the lid here to me uh, just would seem a little too easy for a mouse to uh, pop open and because we live in the country and although we do everything to keep uh, the rodents out uh, of our house sometimes they do get in and they create quite some havoc so that's always a concern for me to use hermetically sealed containers so um, I'm rethinking that I might use these for some other use in my house. Of course, they'll probably end up in the craft room as everything else does in this house or the garage <laughs> um, when it doesn't meet my standards for the kitchen. Again, I apologize for, again, I apologize for making you uh, dizzy. I am shaky, I do have a cold, and I am doing this uh, with my iPhone right now, so this is the best I can do without uh, not, otherwise I wouldn't do anything, so this is really the best I can do. I picked up this cute little headband, if you can see that, um, it's a little headband and it has like little kitty ears and it's kind of sparkly and it is a dollar. I just thought it was something cute to have. A fun crafty item new at my store are the chalkboard cardstock. There's eight sheets in here that you measure six by eight inches um, and they are a dollar twenty-five. And I checked and it's it's a weird kind of, it's not your regular card stock for sure. It really has a gritty, funny feel to it. Um, yet, I think this, I'm thinking it would hold chalk better than regular card stock. Um, I'm willing to give it a try and some sort of DIY eventually. I also. I picked up some Velcro because I was in need of some and I wasn't sure if I was getting a good deal and since I was going to Dollar Tree afterwards I I only took one package of this Duramax hook and loop fastener or Velcro that is self-adhesive and for $1.25 at Dollarama you get 30 inches versus I bought some at the Dollar Tree and for the same price, you get a total of 48 inches, or a whole foot and a half more. Um, so I think you do get, penny per penny, you do get a, a slightly better deal at the Dollar Tree. Now finally, I'm, I'm least but not least, here's my favorite find of the day at Dollarama yesterday. It is this sweet ornament. It seems to be a plaster type of ornament. It's quite, it has weight. And it is by the, it's a holiday plaque, uh, the Working Girls by Working Girl Designs. And it says, it's beginning to cost a lot like Christmas. And there's a lady there with, uh, obviously she's been shopping for some clothing <laughs> and accessories. And I just, I just made me laugh and the cashier was laughing and it was just it just brought a smile to so many people's faces and I just thought this it's so true for me right now it's not even the cost of what we're buying for Christmas that's costing like it was Christmas it's all the renovations we are doing it is costing a fortune so I just thought this uh, was kind of apropos for my situation so that is that for my Dollarama haul. I hope you found uh, some interesting items in it. Uh, thank you so much for bearing with me and I hope that if you're not subscribed, you would like to subscribe. I would so appreciate a like, a comment, or share, and a thumbs up. And I will catch you after the next haul. Bye.